Hey, brother! And lots of stuff has really weird names, and I often catch myself wondering, why is that thing called that thing? So today, we're doing, why do they call it Google Autofill? <laughs> If you're unfamiliar with the Google Autofill game, it is super easy. Basically, I type into Google, why do they call it, and then each letter of the alphabet, Google fills in the rest of the question, and then I answer it with 100%-ish accuracy. Hey, why do they call it a flea market? You think they have fleas, don't you, Google? Actually, it's because the vendors are fleeing town from angry customers who want returns on their used products, so they just flee to the next town, rinse, repeat, and keep going. This is why I say ish accuracy. The why do they call it Black Friday? That's racist. Actually, it's not. Accountants use black ink in their ledgers to denote positive net gains and red ink to denote losses. And since many a retailer earns over 25% of its annual income during the holiday season, the day that kicks it off has been nicknamed Black Friday. C, why is it called Catfish? You know, I had this conversation with a girl I met online once. I was like, you know, just because they have whiskers and they're fish doesn't mean they look like cats. And she's like, yeah, actually though, I'm sort of stuck in Brazil and I don't have a passport, could you wire me a thousand dollars so I can get home? I was like, a thousand dollars? Well, that seems reasonable. Never heard from her again. <laughs> hey, why do they call it duck sauce? You mean that weird orange packet you get when you order Chinese takeout? Yeah, I have no idea, but you gotta figure it's made from ducks or it's supposed to go on duck. And I've never ordered duck from a Chinese restaurant. E, why is it called extra virgin olive oil? Yeah, this is actually the oil they get from the really nerdy olives back in high school, but don't, don't worry, it's okay. I mean, they've gone on to do great things. Some of them are making a killing down in Tapanot Valley, but you know, they harvest the oil when the olives are really young, so. F, why is it called French toast? I know, it should be called freedom toast. <laughs> France, trying to take credit for French toast. Look at this stuff. Do you think anyone except America could have invented this? America! Gee, why do they call it grapefruit? Hold on, have to vent for a second because I hate grapefruit. Not, not even just like the taste of them, just seeing them, just having them in the house aggravates me because it's so hard to eat a grapefruit. It's so much work and for so little food and it only tastes kind of okay if you're in the mood for something particularly weirdly tart. Seriously, only aggravates memories when I think about grapefruit. I have to assume when they were naming them, they were like, uh, we already used grape. And they're like, it doesn't matter. No one's gonna eat these things. H, why do they call it hamburger? I know, right? It should totally be called beef burger. But unfortunately, the hamburger was invented in Hamburg, Germany, and they put their name in the title, forever confusing everybody forever. I, why is it called Indian giver? That's racist. Should be called Native American giver. Wait. J, why do they call it Jenga? Because anyone who's ever lost a game of Jenga at a high level of play knows there's no way to lose without screaming out some kind of crazy obscenity, which is of course inappropriate for the families they were marketing it to. So they came up with Jenga for a not a curse word to yell out when you lose, but let's face it, they basically just invented a new curse word. Ish. K, why do they call it Key Lime Pie? Basically, the people of the Florida Keys decided that one way or another, come Jenga or high water, they were going to celebrate Pie Day. They just didn't have a huge selection of fruits to work with, so. L, why do they call it Love in Tennis? I mean, I just assumed that the guy who invented the game was going through a really rough breakup at the time, and he was like, hey, your serve, nothing, nothing. Or should I just say love, love? Because that's what love is. Nothing. M, why do they call it moonshine? Guys, come on, think about it. Like, a bunch of rednecks are gonna go out of the woods and start brewing something called sunshine? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And why do they call it New England? Uh, because all the places are named after Old England? Oh, why do they call it Orange is the New Black? Because my campaign to start calling it Orange Friday has finally started picking up traction, that's why. Also because wearing black is cool and Piper Chapman was cool until she got sent to prison where now she has to wear orange, but it's okay because last season she started to get really real. She got Trust No Jenga tattooed on her arm. So she's starting to become cool again, but she still has to wear orange, so Orange is the New Black, huh? Get it? P, why do they call it Pot? I know. Tall pan would make so much more sense, right? 
Wait. Q, why do they call it quitting cold turkey? Turkey purist. Yeah, it's people who believe that turkey should only be consumed hot and right out of the oven. Their movement picked up a lot of traction in the 1950s with their popular slogan, quit cold turkey. But, you know, nowadays it just means stop doing something immediately. Or why is it called riding shotgun? This used to just be the name of an express messenger or shotgun messenger because I guess shotguns are fast and then Hollywood picked up the term and actually started giving that person who was sitting next to the carriage driver a gun to fend off bandits who were trying to steal whatever was in the trailer they were dragging. S, why do they call it saltwater taffy? Nobody knows. Every time you go in to ask them why is it called saltwater taffy, you just get stuck staring at that crazy taffy stretching machine just like, oh, oh, I'll take a pound. T, why is it called the birds and the bees? Well, you should probably just ask your parents. U, why is it called upstate New York? Because it's the northern part of New York and on a map that would be like higher up on the page. Well, normally, have you ever looked at a map that was upside down where south is up? It's totally trippy. V, why is it called Victoria's Secret? Because whatever underwear you're wearing is supposed to be a secret, but I have to tell you, at that store, that is a really horribly kept secret. W, why is it called White Elephant? That's racist. A game about giving and taking gifts? Should be called Native American Elephant. Wait. X, why do they call it Xbox One? Because apparently Microsoft can't count. I mean, how hard is this? One. 360. What? Hold on. What the? Why? Why do they call it your funny bone? Mostly because your extremely appropriately named humorous feels really funny when you hit it just wrong. And Z, why do they call it zip code? Oh, I actually know this. ZIP stands for Zone Improvement Plan. And there you go. That's everything Google wanted to know about why stuff was called what it is. Ben, my question for you and everyone else is, what are some other things you would like to know why they were named that thing? Let me know down in the towel section below and I will try and make up a story for why that is called that. Ben, that's it for me. I will see you in another life, brother. These socks are amazing! Guys, thanks for watching. As always, please like the video if you haven't already, and subscribe so you don't miss any future Google Autofill videos. If you'd like to see some other Google Autofills, you can click this link right here. That's my full playlist of Google Autofill. Or if you want to see some other unusually named things, you can click this video, which is my Pixar Names in Other Countries video. Some of them are really, really funny.